but it's imperative that uh, our team and our experts have that access. The Biden team laid out the deadly downside today of President Trump's refusal to accept the results of the election, especially when it comes to the pandemic response. Biden is expected to be sworn in January 20th with the virus spreading widely and perhaps vaccine distribution already underway. Engagement directly with the agencies would significantly help our preparations um, to govern. Republicans like Karl Rove and John Bolton have called for the president to accept reality, but members of the GOP still in office have been tiptoeing around Trump. Former President Barack Obama chastised them in a new interview with 60 Minutes. I'm more troubled by the fact that other Republican officials who clearly know better are going along with this, are humoring him in this fashion. Um, it is one more step in delegitimizing not just the incoming Biden administration, but democracy generally. And that's a dangerous path. The calls to concede come as the tedium of recounting all ballots by hand in Georgia get underway. But even as it did, Georgia election officials say they do not expect the numbers to change away from a win for President-elect Biden. In Arizona, a similar process did not make a difference. The post-election audits are coming up exactly as we expected because there's nothing fishy going on with any of the vote counts.